Hi okay, guys, hello and welcome to episode two of Joy Section of the Drive. Today's episode is totally by coincidence and nothing planned, but as I was sifting through a film for another project, I stumbled across some film from my very first year as offensive coordinator at Shropshire in 2013, and I figured it would be a good a good process to go through it for a couple of drives. But it's still running back then, see what's changed, see what's See what's kept over. I thought it might be an interesting uh, viewpoint for a few people to see how things have changed and see what I've kept. Uh, so we'll go through the, the, the first drive. This is our opening drive again versus Chester. Um, same, same team as the first film, obviously six, seven years earlier. Great different setup then. Both teams are pretty good at the time. Um, this, one's a bit, this is not on Huddle, so it's proper old school. From the kickoff, they've just scored. This is our very first drive. A uh, little bit of back information from on this game, okay? Is this is my very first year as offensive coordinator after six years um, under Dave Reed? Two years. He um, he was the total air raid guy, and he was the reason that I, I actually went to Shropshire in the first place because I wanted to study the offense and learn it. I spent two years at the Murray College at the Red Wing learning the offense. And the, the first thing that I wanted to do was when I got my opportunity after uh, Coach Stretch got his opportunity in 2011, uh, when I got my chance to take, take the reins, I wanted to be the same but be different. I wanted to put my spin on it and not be like everyone else. And so, obviously, the first thing you do is you look at personnel and what's and what, happening. The very first thing that happened as soon as we as soon as I took the job was that the quarterback very similar to this year to be fair. The quarterback of um of the uh, from three or four years uh McLean he stepped away for work reasons so we had no quarterback. We had um a, a, a guy who was, who was the the default back for many years and he and he was there and we get basically what happened was I went with the two QB system the guy who was playing quarterback in this game, which is probably week five or six by now. So the first four four games of the season, we well, literally went two QBs. I did just split, split the reps down the middle. And the only reason why that worked for me was because there were two completely bizarre QBs. Uh, one was a proper passer, whereas uh, Noodles was a, a bit of a hybrid, to be fair. He was our, our most influential boy at the time. In my time being there, he, he used to um, be heavily influenced the offense from the wide spot. And uh, to be fair to the guy, he took a he took a huge step back, and he you know he he was like he took a, a lump on the chin and says you know I'll I'll learn to be I'll do that. And fair play to the guy, you know I don't we speak we speak to this day. Fair, fair, fair play to the guy. He literally took up the position, learned it, and obviously we we've already been bit by a bit, and then by week. Six, seven, eight. He, he was basically starting the rest of the way. Um, so that was the first. The first thing was, and then the second thing is that, like, the Reverend and Dave Reed were very much a two by two, a three by one team. It was passed the ball a lot. Uh, traditional air raid style. Helmum was a big influence on on Dave. And what I wanted to do was put my mark on it. And my my um my mantra has always been. Uh, Pass the score run to win. So what I what I wanted to do was to bring in a more run influence on this on this offense and utilize this big big powerful offensive line that we had at the time. Uh, so and you'll see if you're looking at this clip right here right now, one of the most solid things and the old time I've ever done it in my history of coaching is that we actually play with the tight end for the, the whole year. Moving our Y to our QB, left a big hole at Y. And we, we rotated a few guys around, and in the end, we ended up going with a lineman who was fundamentally sound at receiver. And we basically played him as a six lineman, so we were a lot more run heavy than, than we were in the past. And then it was basically my stamp on, on the offense. And there'll be things in here that you see today that are still run now, seven, eight, nine years later. Okay, so you can see that we're, we're in two by two, uh, in two back which is still pro for us. Uh, tight end is 
connected to the line. Obviously, our X and our Y are still on. Nothing's changed for us in terms of rules that we still run to this day. It's still, still the same thing, but our, our tight end is attached right now. Um, we'll, play, we'll play the first play. I'll try to take it back if I can. It's going to be really tough with this with this current setup, but I'll, I'll do what I can. So, our first play. Take the run. A simple, a simple toss to the running back. One of those things that we love to do early is to get our running backs, in, oh, the running backs involved in motions and in, in fakes, the swing passes. See what they're doing. As you can see from this, from this, because we're so heavily involved, the box is stacked. But it plays well for what, what we're trying to do later on. Uh, in this, in this time, I should have realised that I could have taken more advantage of this, this matchup down here on there. The, the players left and our right, but obviously there there at the time I was very young, very young and very green, and didn't really notice the matches that we could have taken at that point. I, I had a script and I stuck to it pretty much verbatim. So our first play we fight that inside zone. We just pitch it off to our our high back. He makes minimal yard. He's trying to get back to the scrimmage. The second thing is if you've watched any of my other videos. Is that I've spoken in the perfect world. In the perfect world, my H would be uh, running back, which is a hybrid. In this case, Stevenson was a very, was a first year guy, but he was uh, an athlete, and we, he played H and running back for us, and had some big games during that time. Uh, you can still see we're still in two back. The box is full. They're one high. Our identity at the moment is running the football. Again, a run, minimal run. That's where what I was talking about with this with this game as well is that this guy here's a rookie. This guy here's a rookie. Two rookie running backs and a, and a quarterback that's going to play quarterback until this year. It's, it's almost eerily similar to the, to the season I just had, but it's it. This made it easy for me last year because I've already done it before in two or three places. Um, there'll be times where our running backs should have taken a better lane, should have taken a better angle, they see the seed. And that's just rookiness, you know, that's just young and green. And that's what you film it for, that's what you can teach you. So one of the things that I, I did back then in the first year, which I've ne I'd never seen before, was I put that crossing on the running backs. And I still use that to this day. That's one of the things that I've still I've still implemented at every every team I've been at since. Is that our back across and it confuses the defense so they don't know which one's getting me. Uh, it's one of the things that I, I I pull my hat on early doors and it seems to have worked for us down the line. And I've kept it. So that's just one of those things that you know, seven years later, it's still it's still in the playbook, it's still it's still run. As you can see, we've got we got movement on the line, we've got nice lane, we've got a lead blocker there. You just don't really stack it well enough. He tries to bounce it because he's young and wants to score. Okay. That brings up third and long because we didn't do a fat lot in our first two drives. You can see now that we've moved from two back to empty set. This was one of the another the thing that I've stuck with from 2013 to 2020 is that I've always been in multiple. I'm always going to give you different looks, different different things to cover. Okay, as you can see, the running back right there, he's playing receiver. Rookie running back is playing receiver now. We're just trying to just trying to get people into the game and do do different things. This was something that we'd never done before at the Revolution. It was completely new, and uh, I was just trying to put my mark on the game. As you can see, we've still got our tight end attached, so our rules still apply. Our X and our Y on the line, and the others are off. But as I said a few moments ago, the beauty about this is that. I had stuff built in that basically had my athlete attack space. So I'm third and long, and you know there were times during this course of this season, I would I would tap my head and go, "You be power, you be power." More times than I probably should have done, but he was so consistent with it. As you can see, our line knocked it up. 
Also, one of the things that we did that we didn't do before that was I had everybody in three point stance. That's something that we kind of stuck with along the way. The most part is that everybody's down in three point stance. Before that, it was the tackles were in two point and you know all kind of stuff past both. But we got them down in the three point stance and we wanted to be aggressive with it our line, with our line play. There were some big guys there on the offensive line, including my current head coach and my current wide receiver coach is one of the teams that are here right now. So this is how we. You bring them through and pass it forward. This is a, they're actually players at, at this point in time when we were doing this. So they bring the pressure, but as you can see, we, we blocked that up really well. This is simply a QB power. Beautifully draw up, beautifully run. You can see our alignment talking to each other, they know who they're going to get. That's, Neil, that's Coach Neil there and uh, Ben Harper on the line. Come in, just pick it up. Neil, Neil's pulling right there into space. You don't have to get nobody, coach, but it's there. And we and he doesn't get tackled until he's seven yards deep. And that that pure athleticism gets him at eight, nine more, eight, nine yards. And we roll for the first down. Watch that again. Something that I never we'd never used before this time, and we'd never thought about. And until I actually went into the job. And had to put my stamp on it and do make the place fit the person that we had. This is something that up until this point we have just rocked the same thing over and over again. But I was dictated what I had to do by the by the hand that I was given, and we had to make change and we had to do things differently. And this was the answer that I came up with for the problems that were that were fact that I faced. It didn't work every time. There were there were games where we were absolutely awful, but when it clicked, it clicked really well. And at this point in time, uh, Chester was our stages. I think they actually won the division this year. I'm not quite sure. It's been a while ago, but they were very good. As you can see, take the delay step. We've got pulling guard. Beautiful. I thought it was in there. He whips on it. But we still make 10 yards. That's the first down. You can see now we're still empty. But our running back's gone to the right side now, so technically we're, we're tripped to the right. But you can't tell. This, I think this, I think that's how I call this ranger, ranger left, ranger right. The ranger was just simply the R going to the one side. The earth shattering. The R meant ranger, ranger right meant the running back to the right, and ranger left, ranger the running back to the left. It wasn't rocket third by any way, shape, or form. And you can see, Steve is in the H. And the beauty of this stuff is that we did all this without changing personnel. The whole point, the whole idea was we, we moved. And we, we can rotate through formations and, and give them different looks and give them headaches. And that was my vision going into it. And uh, stuff that I do to this day is based on stuff that I did in this season. So it's first down after a big third down conversion. So it's well down the seam, he bubbles it. This, that's the Steve, Pirate Steve, our, our tight end. Again, he was literally caught a, a alignment that we converted. And this this is simply uh, 56, I think. Play still the same. Could be 50, but I think it's what's it. Let's watch it through, see what the outside guys do. This is four verts or, or hits and verts, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's four verts. We just changed that one tab there. Okay, so it's birds. So we know we we know that this guy here, they think they think it's a show, but he's not he actually not, he's got a good pair of hands on him. And this this guy, QB, does a heck of a job is waiting and reading it. Waiting for him to come open. Takes the block, gets past that second level, gets his head round, he turn up, catch the football, he double clutches it, but fair play to him. We make 25, 26 yards on that on that catch. Thing of beauty, and the thing is, the play didn't change. This is a, right. this was the same play that we had in our locker three, four seasons before that. I was, it was just my my spin on it, my take on it. So it's not new learning for the team, really. Just wind addressing. That was mainly the, the way I was going forward with it, putting my spin on it, my take on it. Still fifty six, still four verts.
We had four versus two bubbles. Three bubbles because of the table lined up. As you can see, popped open, wonderful play. And that was a, that was one of the advantages of having a tight end, is that it's an extra gap to cover, and they sometimes they're not honouring. And there's no, as you can still see, we're still an empty. We're keeping the ball moving. We're trying to go as fast as we can. Even back in 2013, we've got Stevenson here as a H in his normal spot. Uh, uh, Exit on the line. Uh, Roy's on the line as a, as a attack right end. Our running back is, is right, so it will be Ranger right. And this is a simple hit, hit screen. We're asking our little tiny running back to go ahead and get your hands on that DB, which he does. Hook it up. That's my wide receiver coach currently, making three or four yards. Watch it again. Like what we're seeing, always want to do. Is utilize the space that they're giving us. It moves it forward and we'll take those four yards. That's basically what the revolution offers has built on for a long time, which is that taking those four or five yards and being run plays. As you can see now we're back in we're back in the two back. Nothing has changed in personnel. We're still the same eleven guys out there. Nobody's been brought in, nothing's changed. It's the same eleven guys flipping the script. Again we cross. Stevenson our hatch back. A little bit upright again he's a rookie i can't be too harsh on him even back then but we'll see the cross on the snap deadly the gap open up from that big strong offensive line and they get it down inside the five inside the six and then one of the things that we did here which i've never been able to do since is to have a big strong offensive line and a big strong quarterback and literally move that pile as far as I want to. And this this is effectively a seven yard QB for me. You got my quarterback there taking on a whole defense. As you can see, he's into contact there now. That's my head coach right there, Kotowski. He's just fully in the mix. But even after the, even after contact, we're on the three or four yard line now. There's nobody around my quarterback, and he's his heart and his desire to to win and get results just takes him into this into the end zone. Four, five, six yards, seven yard QB for me. And we score. There's my, there's my uh, head coach right there. And we'll see the coach. Great drive. I'll do a second drive because I've got time. We move to 9 13. This is our first drive of the second quarter. I go down and score again. So we kick off. Um, Let's draw some and we get, we get the, uh, the ball back and we go to the second quarter. Um, first part of the second quarter, you can see again we're still we're still in that, that empty look. And the reason why I was I'm searching through this phone is because I was trying to do something for uh, get game from multiple formations, multiple offenses, and this is where it all began for me. Now you've got Jet, my running back. It would have been hard yet. We could work it because our X is on the line and I was on the line, which makes everybody else free. Hand it off, switch it up. That's two or three yards. Again, if we're talking about if we're talking about jet game. The beauty of Jet for anybody that's new 
in the sport or, or, or looking at this really. It takes away a whole heap of blocking. Literally, these guys don't do anything on the, on the play. They, they, they literally don't do anything. Because that our running back or our receiver should be that fast. And by the time he's engaged, he's already past him. All we're looking for is one or two key blocks from our receivers, spring him, and we can get some results on the play. Very Excuse me. Very. Um, this is what this is what one of the things that we, we did on, in this year is that we did it for multiple spots, multiple formations. But right now we're running from an R jet, an MT, takes it up, minimal gain, which is still a game will take four yards every single time we do it. Okay, same formation. Now you can see we're running uh, Z jet with the exact same look. Nothing's changed. It's this very next play. And we're going to bring out our receiver coach, Adam Harris, in motion. He runs at his full speed, takes the football. And this is back to take me in. Okay. But what I'll say there is that we had these things built in. I wonder why I called two running back to back. We built in to our jet game answers to the jet. So when, they, when, when we start running the jet and they start flowing, we, we want to answer it by cutting back across the great. One of those cutbacks was having QB power to be an answer to that question. Because our QB loved QB power, and I loved it, I loved, I loved running at the time. So we know what's coming. You can see that guy there in man, there, he's coming across with him. Great fake by QB, he's watching that guy go with him. He just keeps the football, follows his blockers, makes the first down. One of the things that we have to realize, guys, is that our QB loves contact. As a, and a wide road receiver, he was not afraid to get in there and get hit. Take punishment, you give punishment. He's not a fan of that at all. He, he was one of the guys that was looking to knock around the bounds on plays, get get their field, make yards. Absolute pleasure to work with. Look at our lineman, busting their field. Great block there. We're making second, third level blocks here. And second, on, Second and four, second, sorry, second and six, second and seven. Again, another first down run. Same formation, we try to keep it up tempo. This is a nice, simple. Shallow row. We're running the shallow here. Great job from their defense, but also excellent job from Stevenson. As I said before, Stevenson played a running back. He's also a player receiver. He can do both jobs. If you've got a guy that can do both jobs, again, you're under a winner. And he's a guy that you need to keep. He's an asset that you need to keep around your team. They are like gold list guys that can do multiple jobs. Stevenson could. You can see he's on the line there. He's going to run a simple drag route. The drop in. Catches it. And then it's the yard after the catch. Again, he's, he's up for it in, in contact, but he's a rookie. So he, he has to learn from those mistakes. Obviously, we coached him up at the time. But you've got to love that second and third effort that when they're when they're tackled. That ball's out there for me. I know that we one of the coaching balls at the time was to feel that football. But you cannot knock the hustle of the guy when he's charging and taking taking on guys to get three, four, five extra yards. And we end up getting second and short on a, on a nice simple drag route. Back to two back. For me, that would be a, a counter point later on down the line. But as you can see, our, our X, X is still on, our Y is still on, our Z is off. Now, our X is the player too. We just did we got on the ball at the moment, but that, he, he did get some yards again. But at the moment, we're just sticking what we got. There's the cross again. We're pulling. This is, I think this might be a counter. We're two guys going. We're pulling. Yep. Unfortunately, As I said, he's a young guy. He's trying to make plays and go outside. He did have 100 yards rushing on, on the day in this game. I can't remember from the stats from that, from that time. 
they get 102 yards on the ground and like a few to the air. But you can see we've got two pulling guys there. We've got our head coach and we've got uh, our tackle. Both pulling and he needs to follow those guys. He doesn't. He tries to bounce it out rather than going up. And he gets minimal yardage because of that rookie head rush. But he's just trying to make it outside into the grass. All those, all those, all these are uncomfortable moments, guys. He doesn't get very far. He doesn't get very far. We end up going from, from second and one to third and one. You see, we're in third and one. If we're in third and one, I'm probably going to just get vertical as fast as I can with the quarterback. As you can see, we've got, we've got the numbers in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The win for us every time. We like those numbers. They're gonna, they're gonna blitz. We get the first down just by pushing us. Good job. We make it. As you can see, there we're in another formation. I can't remember what this call at the time, but it will be out for now for me. Might have been ace, I'm not sure, but it would have been ace with the top of the with the tight end attack. That would have been the fault. Um under center. We didn't get the first down, so we we, we sneak it. Okay. Go back. So we didn't get that first down on, on third down run, but we make sure we get it off both down using our big line. Sometimes you just, you just got to use your, your athletes if you've got a big strong line. You can make, we can make use of those guys when it counts. As you can see now, we are still. We get a flag there because our, our running back, our rookie is moving. We're good. We go back to M2. Just so we know that foot movement doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. It's just this natural thing, and we try to get him out of it, but he kept doing it, so we just left him. Because he wouldn't stop doing it. So that foot movement doesn't actually mean or do anything. It's just this natural, this natural uh, movement. Again, we run QB power. Nice. To get us back into, uh, watch that again. You can see our pulling guard. Four down linemen, three backers and a safety, and we've got eight guys. Our line take care of their line. Our, our guard is world class, comes through. Trying to get second, third level. Our running back in Kisakasha QB just runs into him. Gets into the contact, keeps cheering his legs, seven, eight, nine, ten yards, and we make it to second and manageable. As you can see now, we're in range of left. Range of off. Just let's be simple, guys. Bubble, it's a simple tunnel screen or bubble screen. I think it's a tunnel screen, it is a tunnel screen. We just do the drop it. Well, for now, I haven't actually used much since this time with our tunnel screen. We just didn't go back to it very often. You can see it's set up a treat. It's just poor for that. If you used to go back and watch the QB's footwork on this, it's probably the reason why. And this, you know, this is one of the, the, the learning things for the QB was wasn't that bad. He just, he just tipped it, didn't he? So, one of the things that, uh, which learned over that time was that he, he, he learned to run football better. And by the time that he played QB for two, three, four more years after this, uh, he improved dramatically over the, over the sports time. Probably around that QB now is they did under much of the but all was well, all was good. So we don't get that. Finish down third down and around eight, seven. 
packages yet again. Let me show the CD power. Guys, so if you if you're a new coach at the lower level, you can't go wrong with anything to do with Jet and building off of it because they have to respect the Jet and defenses at the lower levels will always suck towards the Jet. The higher you get coaching and playing, the smarter the defenses get and the better coach they are. And the better coach defenses always adapt better. You may get one or two off, but they will adapt better and faster. So you won't always be able to utilize that jet like you would for a whole game at the lower level. But if you're a new coach and a new coach, I would hang my hat on this on the jet play. We've only ran jet once, I think, in, in the game so far. And they have to honor that jet every time. And you can see the guys, they're coming across. They're all going across with him. This guy's flexing out, trying to get the, the jet guy. And our QB is pulls it. And we're taking the, taking the vertical route. Well blocked. You can see that our lots of yellow jerseys there. And then it's, it's after contact, only about two, three, four more yards. I'm not sure if he made the first, but it's super close. Yeah, we did make the first. As you can see now, this is technically our two by two. Our receivers here, and the uh, um, boys here attached. So we're two this side, two this side. It looks a bit weird because we're, we're actually in two by two. So our verbiage wouldn't have changed this year. It's still the same as it would have been. We just, we just played it attached. Breaks down, but it's, it's great of wording. That's the most the coach right there. Still to the space play. So we watch it back again. I'm not sure what the play actually is. I think it's just verts again. But yeah, it is verts. So it is verts because it's the only way that our uh, guys are going up and going off. He should be putting it back, but he's not. That QB gets through, sees the right side broken up because our rookie is running the wrong route. Steps into the pocket, finds our guy in the space. Yards after the catch, which, which the Rev have always been good at, and they go into the end zone for a score. And you just think, oh, it's stupid crazy. So is it? There you go. So, again, guys, uh, episode two of the Effect of the Drive. I just thought I'd take you back old school a little bit, uh, some old film, and see how we've moved on as a, as a coordinator and what we've utilized down the line. The stuff there, as you can see, that if I was to pull the film from last year, we would still be running. And the, the thing to learn from this is that when you take your first job, when you take your job, is that you have to remember to utilize what you have. Adapt your system to the person that you have. Don't try and fit what you do into people that can't do it. You have to have what you have and make it work with what they can do. Okay, so if that means you're going to do more of one thing than you would of the other, set it and build around it and make yourself as, as, as good as you can be. In this instance, when I take when I took over this offense, they had one wheel, they were a one-win team in division one. Then to be they finished the season at six and four. So um, it was a building stage, and we had some good wins, and we had some close losses and some blowout losses. So uh, there's some things there that we built upon, and you know it was my only year at offensive coordinator at the level at that point. Um, but things that I did, I did there, and I learned there, I still use most of this game. So hopefully, something for you, you enjoy and and help and take it and know that. We can do a lot of different things, even as coaches and change where we that we do stuff. So um hopefully you enjoy it boys.